You already know. Y'all know how we coming. You know who this is. Yours truly. Your greatness. Black party Friday. You know we turning up. I think I think a lot of people they let edge get in their way from striving to be somebody. Right. Uh, you can't let that get in your way. You can't let uh, a place get in your way. Uh, some people let you know. I, I got a lot of kids. Uh, uh, I'm married. Uh, uh, I gotta work. You know. Uh, mm -hmm. I didn't got too old for this. Uh, right. You know, it's, it's a lot of things that jump on us when you want to do something great with your life. Oh yeah, I'm you know, 21. I'm, I'm forever. 21. Yeah, I'm just keep man, you gotta stay focused. Keep, 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 it's too for easy. Real. It's too easy to just move on and leave people alone. Yeah, because other people will take on your yeah. battles when they know, especially your kids. Because why? They this? will take on your battles. Think when about the key. Do what I think do. about the key thing I said earlier when I said You're listening to my time. When I said the people that I fell out with ended up dead. You know, it, it, you gotta, you gotta. Peace, peace, yeah, you know, shouts out to them, man, but. I decided to do something different. I could have went after them and lost my freedom, you know. But I, you didn't. But I so did. That, that's that old. That's that's where you say you are not the same person you. Yeah, used we to are be. not the same. Because back in the day, you, your other person would have said, "I'm not Cree Cree anymore." Well, guess so what? Though? Baby Cree Cree would have said, it "I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you what happened to me." All right, go. Yeah, do a go, good go. show. I will say break a leg, but I don't want you to do that. <laughs> People use the crazy slaves, man. Break a leg. What the? So, then you break a leg. Right, yeah. We don't want to break a leg. We want to have a great show. Shouts out, Ghost. All right, y'all. Be good. Yeah, Big us, bro. Right. So, um, you know, we got to, I think us as people, uh, it's too easy to just leave people alone and move on. It's way. Because watch this. I, I, I ain't going to kid you. I was getting ready to do a lot of that stuff I said I was going to do. I was right, going to do but, it. But guess what God always said? Somebody to tell me in my ear, it's not, not worth it. But you know what I mean, I think about all the time is the past mistakes I made and the reason I've come this far mm -hmm. is because I learned from them and didn't continue to make those same mistakes. Right. So when you don't continue to make those same mistakes and you evolve and you grow, mm -hmm. your life take a whole different turn. Right. And and you're mm -hmm. a better person. So when you're at peace, because me back in the day, I would have been ready. I, I would have been ready to fight. And mm -hmm. I would have just not even thought about, okay, I'm the professional here. This is my property. I'm glad you didn't do it. Right. Because I could have just said, okay, even though I did go get my tennis shoes, mm -hmm. I had to do that just because I'm in heels. I well, don't want to be thing, caught right. One thing I heard but you say you was you were being the consummate professional. Yeah. Right. I think that's also, my job. That's I think my, also yeah. when you get older, I think when I say older, it could be 35, you, you become more humble. Right. Yeah, you know, and, and you realize, your health, but your you life, realize sometimes the, other, the actions of other people could cause them to fall. Right. But then if oh, they don't action, fall from right, it. but they your actions could turn make their fall. Because watch your this. Fall. One of the guys, and, one of the guys who wanted to do me something, I wanted to do him something. I went to, I really wanted to go do him something, and then watch this. We rode around looking for him, we couldn't find him, and then a month later. He got killed. And then watch this. The other guy I knew, the same thing happened. But watch this. This time, he wanted to do me something. So I was like, if he run up on me, I'm going to be ready. And watch this. Before I know it, he went to sit down with two guys who were killers. And they put him in the middle. And both of them shot him. Killed him dead. I heard about the whole situation. But these were people who I was falling out with. Coming up, you know, in, in life, yeah. running the streets, dealing drugs. People. I walked away, and yeah. other people killed them. But you I have didn't to even walk have to away nothing. from people, even though, like, you have friends you grew up with, and they decide to stay on this path. If mm -hmm. you know that's not the path for you, and you got to change to make a better life for your son, because you want to live. Yeah. You you want to see your kids grow. I never thought I'd be doing radio. I never know from that I point I never thought point. I'd be... Yeah, I'm, I'll be you know, doing radio podcasts, writing books, I doing music. I just be this beautiful in, in, in life. 
Oh, I ain't talking about that. <laughs> no, I'm just saying not, yeah. not in the case. I'm just saying okay, in yeah. life. Be a good people, person. Just yeah. a good person. Because I used to Because I ain't know so, it's going to be this handsome yeah, either. I, like, I, I know hell. what you're talking about. Yeah, so when you hell... It's like <laughs> you, yeah. you want to manifest good karma. I mean, you never right. know what situation you get into. I, I know. Yeah. I've heard many stories from people that said I went into court today for a traffic ticket, right. and there was no way I was guilty for doing that. Blah blah blah. Look, that judge has got a family. Maybe maybe his wife gave him what for on the way out the door in the morning. And he just decided everybody that had a traffic ticket that day was guilty. You don't know what, what happened to what that happened? individual yeah, when you right. when you get up on them. So a, a situation occurs, maybe someone's angry because there was a death in the family. Maybe he lost his job. Maybe she was fired. And it's just that one little word you said out of place, yeah. and the next thing you know, you're going at it. But There's that's no why you have to walk into situations and think, hey, Am I going to let this be my downfall today? Or am I going to just sit there and be still? Sometimes you got to, when they say peace, be still, and it's not your P-I-E-C-E, -E, it's your peace, P-E-A-C-E. -E. You got to have peace when you're walking into situations because if you don't. You remember what my dad said, huh? Peace, be still. Yeah, and I had my piece of the car, and I was just like, <laughs> don't do it, well, just get your tennis shoes. Well, generally, you can kill them with kindness. Yeah. Oh, it's really hard. Yeah. It's really, really hard for somebody, even if they want It'll to get, blow get your mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, man. It It'll ain't worth it. It's else, not worth you know. it. Fight yeah. people, fall out with them, curse them out, shoot them. You know, when it comes to shooting somebody, man, that's a whole different world. I've been there. I've been, I've been, been in a lot of positions. Yeah. You know, thank God I made it. Yeah. But, you know, I've been in a lot of different positions and I, where I was you know, almost pushed to be like that. And sometimes, you know, it, 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 things happen. Does somebody, does anybody here know, well, uh, what the first murder was or when it happened, I'm sure, sure we know. Look, bro, the first murder happened back in the slavery years. We don't want to go there. No, no, no I'm talking, I'm talking no. from the beginning of time. No, right. let's, let's they, get that for the murder that, show. That's, let's get that for the murder show. But all I'm saying is this. This is the part I'm talking about, the OG part of it. <laughs> about making it out and becoming better. Because I never thought in the many years I'd be sitting here doing what I'm doing right now with y'all. I was on the streets over in New Orleans yeah. selling drugs. Using drugs. Mm -hmm. Running around with a lot of bad characters. Everybody I know was either a killer or a gangster. Or a yeah. pimp or a whore. You know what I'm saying? So that was just the life I was living. But I made it here. You and made that's it a out. blessing. And guess what? The year, but you got to want something better for yourself. Yeah. But right now, in New Orleans, it's back getting like that. The way it was when I was out there. And uh, it's getting like that now because it's a shortage change. of police. It's a shortage. No, it never <laughs> really changed. Change. But it, it wasn't bad as it was when I was out there. It was really dangerous. But it, let's go to our brother Fred, man, and see if he got any, got a story, man, he could tell us about, man. When he was uh, coming up and he was uh, a rough character and he was, had all them girlfriends. Don't say that in front of your wife. <laughs> no, no. I grew up fighting all my life. Wow. Where you from, Mr. Fred? Cleveland, Ohio. Cleveland, Ohio. Oh, yeah, you was fighting Cleveland. Cleveland, Cleveland, Cleveland. Cleveland Browns. Went to uh, Collinwood High, all white school. Wow. Fault going into school. Fault coming out. Fault coming out. Wow. He was in an all white school. Yeah. Well, I bet that was rough. So that was a whole different beast right there. Well, what year was that? That was in 1960. In the 60s. 60. Wow. Oh, that was deep, Yeah. So, but the, the thing is, uh, at some point in time, you have to come to grips with yourself as to what you want to do and where you want to go. I did, well, first thing, I got in a fight. I always want to say the fight. Right. <laughs> it wasn't a brawl, it was just a fight. Right. It, was a, it wasn't even a fight. I understand. Messing with my girlfriend, I knocked this guy slap out. Come to find out, he was a member of the uh, devil disciples. Right. I was in a lot of trouble. A lot of trouble. What is that? I've never. It's a game. It's a game. Oh, okay. Okay. Just a disciple. Yeah. You got the game. devil disciples, you got the junior devil disciples, and then you got the devil disciples. All right. Wow. Mm -hmm. So. I didn't know that. <laughs> so. Well, that was we, an enlightening. <laughs> I didn't you know that period. Well, we, yeah, you never heard of it? I was uh, running. Not, I heard some of them. No, no. Oh. Yeah. I was running. Jumping garages, fences, backyards. Well, so so people was after you for your life? 
Back then, they just beat you up real bad. Oh, yeah, right. He was paranoid. <laughs> yeah, it was. No, I was really no, he paranoid. He was paranoid. He was running behind him for real. He was running behind him for real. He looked like he healed that man. He said he was paranoid. He was hallucinating. For weeks, he, for, for weeks, he was kind of dodging and going and doing. They were behind after your me. back. They, oh, okay. So after, you were doing that because you, they were you, after you every day. All right, let's try this again. <laughs> you got he said, let's try this again. <laughs> junior devil disciple. Listen, dude. You got the uh, devil disciple mm -hmm. and the peewee devil disciple. The guy I knocked out. Was a part of that game. If I beat them all of them, then I have to go to the juniors and beat up all of them. Mm -hmm. And then after I beat up all of them, I have to go to the devil disciple. So what's the chance? Of, what's the chance no of that? Yeah, you right. have no chance. So they caught me. They beat me up real bad. Okay, lesson learned. How many? How many? How many of them was against you? About six of them. Oh, oh I had to fight five people at one yeah. time before. So. But yeah. anyway, um, life goes on. Yeah, it does. So growing up, we, we talk about violence. I was in violence day and night, end up getting shot. 357 Magnum in my stomach, out my back. Wow. wow. Oh, I didn't know you was coming Bless. with that one. Blessed. <laughs> that put a roof off the building. Yeah, that's <laughs> blessed. Look, we didn't uh, expect you to say that. I've been wow. stabbed. I've been Tiny shot, I've here. been beat. Jesus. I, I, I've been through it all. Wow. But at some point in time, you have to look at yourself. And you have to make a change. You're surrounded. So you was a rough character, Mr. Fred. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I never thought one time he was like that. Just go to show you. Never judge you a book by stuff. The quietest person is the most dangerous person. The most. That's true. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. I used to design things out of my mouth to make sure that you had to fight me. Whoa. It that song, that pink tornado. That yeah. pink tornado, boy. Wow. So how do I get from there to here with the blessings of God? Yeah. I've done some things in my life that I'm not happy about. Wow. I got to live with that. Right. But you know what? At the end of the day, everybody looks for a fight. Self-preservation. Right. Here's what I've learned. If you really want to fight, if you really want to fight, right, try fighting yourself. Wow. Wow. Because you've been something. spending the rest of your life with all the corks and screws and Indeed. imperfections that you have, mm -hmm. you will end up fighting yourself. Through. You ain't got time to fight me, Callie, nobody, but yourself. Every day I wake up fighting me to make me a little bit better than what I was yesterday. Right. Wow. So that's so a fight. now you're not fighting yourself no more because you're oh, so much better than you Well, you know, and, and another thing is you have to give respect. Where's well, due? You know, I walk around, yes sir, work. yes ma'am, to little kids. Hmm. But in return, you have to realize I don't have to. I earn mine. I don't have to. Wow. But you give it. I give and, it. And at the same time. Because, yeah. and, and, and there's a little Gittle still in me. In me. Yeah. I've see, I seen, I seen it before. <laughs> just, just a little. Yeah, I've seen at, it before. Time, my mind goes back, but, you know, it says just leave it alone. Because when I give a young person respect and they disrespect me, the ghetto come out. That's, that, <laughs> that's I have a little to, different. There yeah. was a song by Houdini called Last Night I Had a Long Talk with Myself. Yes. I you need to Houdini. listen to that song. It makes a lot of sense. Wow. And sometimes I have to have a long Look, time. Dean couldn't even believe you lived like that. He can be like, he just sitting there. Wow. You never knew that about Fred. You used to hang with Fred. Never knew that. Look, I've known Fred for a while, and we, we had some other endeavors years ago, and, and you never told him that. Wow. We talked about a lot of stuff. A lot of things you yeah, don't Yeah, you can't tell me. Yeah. 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 He didn't want you to know that. Come on, he didn't want to know that. He didn't want you to know that. It's personal and private. Yeah. 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 Well, and here's the thing about people carrying guns, people getting shot. The physical part was hard. The psychological part was almost impossible. I, now I was paranoid. Wow. Anybody that carried a gun looked like they wanted to hurt me. I couldn't take that. So I had to separate myself from everything. Yes. 
Yeah, yeah. You, yeah. 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 you got to separate yourself from them surroundings because if you want better for yourself, you just think about it as, like I think about it now, I have kids who now have kids. I don't want them to reap any of the damage I did. Mm -hmm. So I, you got to correct your own stuff. So it won't carry on to your kids and their kids. Mm -hmm. and Like, it, the generational, you got to break that curse. You got to break that cycle and not have everybody so violent and ready on go. Right, everybody can't Somebody got to have some peace. Somebody got to have peace. And, and, and where are you going to get this peace from? Okay. So I, 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 I told you, you have to change yourself. Yeah. Okay. Within. So what did I learn? This is what I've learned. I don't have to fight nobody, argue with nobody, argue with nobody, because this statement is so true, if you believe it. I'm the best thing on this earth. Nobody's better than me. Than nobody. Me. I'm not going to argue with you about it. I'm not going to fight you about it. If you don't believe that about yourself, you're a fool. Wow. Yep. That's good. Hey, that's why that's I right. say hey, hey, I hey, am hey. the best music. <laughs> right, man. I, country man. folk. I so. enjoyed that, man. That was great, man. Hey, we back in the building. Uh, shouts out to Mr. Fred, man, and his wife came in the building tonight <clears throat> to join the family, man, and OG table, man. Peace of your greatness and discuss a lot of these things, you know, we did in the past and how we not doing it no more and how we moving on to bigger and better things. And everybody go through those different phases in life, you know. Uh, Dean, come on, the line, share with Dean, man. Give us one of those great stories, man, that you experienced in life, man, that brought you to where you at, but looked like you wasn't going to make it at that time. Well, um, you know, I, I always, I always knew from a young lad that, you know, you know, God had a major part in my life, you know, I, I went through things that, you know, I, I really didn't realize at the time, but the first thing that comes to my mind is driving at, uh, probably three o'clock in the morning when I was probably 18 or 19. Uh huh. I mean, back then, you know, you, it was legal to drink at 18. Wow. So, yeah, we had the state line road up there. So I can remember, oh gosh, uh, doing 360s and it was snowing. Headed right for a telephone pole and just missed it. Wow. Yeah, yeah. And then someone getting me out of there. Things like that. I've had probably half a dozen of those episodes that have happened to me in my life. Wow. Yeah, and it was miraculously, I'm, I'm, I remember looking at the wheel and someone's turning the wheel. I mean, I didn't even have my hands on it. So those are the kind of things that make you think about a higher being. It makes you think about, you know, God. It makes you think about you know, decisions you make to get yourself in that place. But, you know, uh, always it seems like you get that good night's sleep, you wake up in the morning, and hey, it's a great day. And that's the promise that we have, which tomorrow will be a, a fantastic day and a better day. You know, no matter how bad things may be for you during that particular day, when you do wake up, it is a new day. Wow. You know. Uh, but when you say about not making it, I mean, those were experiences with death. Um, you know, I, I, I've had situations where, you know, you need to make the grade. Uh, you've got large payrolls. Uh, you're, you're trying to make that grade and things just aren't going right. And you think all is done, but you know what? You push a little harder, a little stronger, a little faster. And if it's the last day or the last moment, the last second, something always comes through. Yeah. It you know, but it's yeah. got to be done with, you know, vim and vigor and, and, and being genuine and, and being humble and, you know, um, being able to give it the best that you've got on a perpetual basis because we don't know. And, that, and you know, I didn't get this from, uh, from making this, this part up, but I'll, I'll, I'll give you something here that, you know, uh, my pastor brought up a couple years ago, and I always remember that, because he keeps talking about, you know, what is the next trouble or the next um, um, divisive thing or the next episode in your life that you may not like. Did, wouldn't you wish 
that you knew what was going to happen before it happened. Wow. And I don't know if people really understand where I'm coming from here because if you really think about that question, if you knew what was going to happen and it was on the other side of that door, would you really open it? Wow. No. I mean, think about that. If you knew, if you knew what was going to happen before it happened, and you you know, life is a way where good things and bad things happen. Right. Would you would you want to know? I, I think God keeps his mysterious so you can learn from the situation. I think it's mysterious for a reason. I think it's, it's a mystery because you need to go to the other side to experience what the outcome going to be. So you know the next time that this happens, what to do, what not to do, and what to do. Because if you would have never had that experience, it wouldn't be no such thing as knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. All that comes from lessons that we learned going through life. Well, the wisdom, you know, trial and error. But I'm, I'm saying the, the deep thought of understanding, okay, the example would be, you know, you get in a car accident, right? Well, if you knew it was going to happen, would you want to know when? I mean, I, I just think that you it's, it's almost too scary to... Yeah. to, to, to I don't think you that. can handle it. If I don't think people could either. Because they had a movie like that, Nicolas Cage played on it. I think in uh, 48 minutes or 45 minutes. Well, yeah, I think I know what you're talking about. He knew it was going to happen before it happened. Yeah. And it was like... But he was always scared because he knew that was happening. So he was always trying to stop it from occurring. Mm -hmm. And I think you were basically spending uh, all your time trying to stop something from happening. Yes, yes. It's just like Fatal, uh, uh, not Fatal Attraction, uh, uh, with that show that, that was coming on for a long time about uh, accidents happening. Uh, what the name of the show was, man. It was, it was a crazy show, man. Uh, and uh, I forgot the name of the show, man. Anybody who know that show right now, call me right now. Give a 10 out of cash out. Call me right now, and you got the answer for what show that was when crazy accidents was happening, and you didn't know it was gonna occur. What show was it? it? Was a real popular show. It had part one, part two, part three, and people would be riding down the road, and something crazy just happened. And next they know they was getting killed, but they had to hurry up and do things to get to the next person to try to save the other person from getting killed. That was a, a it was like a horror. It was movie. a movie with Noel Reeves or something like that. They were kids and growing up, and they they. People were getting hurt or dying or whatever. They kept trying to change the name the of the movie. But that's the only It's going to come to me. It always do. But I'm going to tell you something, man. I think we don't need to know a lot of that, but I think we just need to pray, have faith, and just try to make the best decision you know how in every situation that occurs. Because right, right now, man, by the sound of my voice, I don't I don't think there's people out there right now that just do stupid things. I think things happen and we don't think. What's the next right thing is to do? I never forget I met this guy named Walter. I don't know if he's still alive. He was an older gentleman. But he probably still alive, man. He was a strong guy. I met him in Lake Charles, Louisiana. And he was a sponsor at the time, man. I was coming off the streets in New Orleans from uh, gang banging, dealing drugs, wilding out. And when I was coming in, the first thing he told me, man, I was hanging with him for a long time. He had his own uh, photographer company. And I would hang with him, man. He would go take pictures and he would teach me how to do that. And uh, one day, man, I asked him, I said, man, how you keep going? And he looked at me and he told me, he said, I just keep doing the next right thing. Mm -hmm. No matter what. He said, when the next right thing don't work, do the next right thing. Mm -hmm. Just keep doing the right thing mm -hmm. until you get that. And a lot of times, you don't know, man, what the next right thing is. The next right thing might be for you to leave people alone, let people go, walk away. Uh, the next right thing might be to stop going to fast food. Next right thing might be to stop smoking those cigarettes. Might you know? be walking an elderly person across the street. Yeah, uh, hey, hey, and the next right thing might be to help the help the blind, to help you know the kids of America, man, who are making the wrong moves and decisions out here. Well, and quit beating yourself over the head and keep saying, why me? Why did this happen to me? I guess what the next what right thing to, might be. I'm glad you, you said to, that. What you want it to happen to someone else? I'm glad you said that. The yeah. next right thing might be to say, you know what? I forgive myself for all the wrong I've done mm -hmm. to myself and to others. You know, for all the wrong I may have done, for all the uh, bad decisions I made, uh, all the people I may have hurt or uh, let down. You know what I'm saying? You might. You, the next right thing might be to take care of your kids better. It might be the next right thing. It might be to stop running the streets and go get a job. The next right thing. What is the next right thing right now the sound of my voice by people that's out there? What's the next right thing? 
Well, if, if you're wealthy and, and you're out there and you keep doing all these different things and you just run out there and, you know, throw a $1,000 at the church or whatever, it's not going to make you go to heaven. No, it's not. I mean, this is... You I know, don't have nothing to do with going to heaven. Yeah, but what I'm saying is yeah. a lot of people with wealth, yeah. they're not going to change. They're just going to keep doing what they're doing and just throw money. It, that's not... That's I, not I, I, I feel to be anybody can change. Because if I could change, anybody can. Because sure. I, know, I know I was a rough character. Well, you you gotta, was too, then. Well, you got to want it, though. Yeah, you got to want it. And guess what? I know people that are right now still rough characters. So uh, you tell them the truth. They got some people right now, they're not doing the right thing. You can't pay them to do the right thing. They don't want to hear that. They don't hear what you got to say. They will tell you to shut up in front of your face. And mm -hmm. they will ignore you in your face. Do but, stupid stuff. Yeah. Right. And say it again. There, in my that light I told you about. The next right thing is trying to be better than what you were yesterday. Right. That's the next right thing. That's the next right thing. Pay your bills on time could be the next right thing. That's, that's a good Get your credit together. That could be the next right thing. Well, if you, you know, at the end of the day, there's a lot of people, that if you look at their books, you know, 50 years, two, even 300 years ago, and at the end of the day, they would sit down and they would say to themselves, as you had said earlier, how could I be a better person today? How could I have done better today? How could I have been a better person at the end of a very successful day? And this are has been going you, on for a long are time. Are you going to humble yourself? That's the next right thing. Yeah. It took me a long time to grasp that. Just uh, that. Yeah, just just that. Just being humble. Yeah. Yeah. It's so what tough, it's tough too. What being humble means to you, Mr. Perry? Um <laughs> when um I used to change a little bit and I opened doors for women. Okay, that was the next right thing. But then the next right thing is opening doors for everybody. Men or women. Wow. And if you're going to be opening doors, open up for everybody. Yeah. I ain't going to open the door for no because, dude. Now yeah, you talk, not like talking about I open the door for a woman. I ain't going to do it for a dude. But, yeah. but I do it for dudes sometimes too, though. Well, oh. every, everybody. Right. You know, because it's not about them. It's no, it's about, not. It's about me, how I feel about me. Right. Okay. So, you know, the old saying back in the day, you're punk and the sissy, blah, blah, blah. Right. It's not about that anymore. It's mm. about how I feel. You know, and I, you know, I kind of see it. Some young um, kids are coming up and say, "Well, thank you very much." That's the next right thing. That's the next right thing. Just being great. Guess what the next right thing might be? Instead of being mad all the time, smile. Instead of saying something rude to somebody, tell them something polite. Instead of being mad with people about something they don't understand, try to open your your mind up to understand people more better and stop trying to just judge people right away. A lot of people, they, they quick to jump the gun and, like, put people down. Well, everything starts well, with the word. Back, yeah. back to humbling yourself. That's yeah. why I say, uh, yes, sir, yes, ma'am, yeah. to everything, even to a little kid. The next right thing might be to uh, tell somebody good evening. That's older than you. Well, thinking that. about what you say before you say it. I mean, you know, let me give you an example. If I told you, if you, if you all out there are married and you told your wife, she looked like the first day after a hard winter. What kind of look do you think you'd get? <laughs> but, if you told, that but if you told her, <laughs> but if you told her, you look, brother. but if you told her you look, she looked like the first day of spring. What's the difference? Whatever that means. <laughs> right, right. So, so I, I, I would just say, you know, if you think about what comes out of the mouth uh -huh. before the gums start flapping, your whole life might change. Yeah, that's true. It could. But see, when you have your spirit resonating, it resonates to other people. You got to let your spirit so shine to other people. Yeah, absolutely. It took me a long time to learn that. You know, to manifest good karma and, and, and be in a place where, you know, you're positive and you're you're humble and you're 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 doing what you need to do just because you like you and you love life and the people around you. You know, I, I've always believed, even in the hardest times I've ever had, and I've had some hard times, boy, you know, the day I said to myself, I'm never going to give up on humanity because the day I do, I'm done. Wow. Well, you, you know, we have to go back to our old school teaching and, and we have to bring that forward to these kids today. Yeah. I heard someone say that they just look at their phone because no one's teaching them. You know, mm -hmm. um, they're, they're, they're in their own little shell and you have to bring them out. I come across young kids all the time and I say, hey, what's going on? What's happening? You know, 
They sit and talk to me, mm -hmm. you know. So I listen to them. They got some young kids who respect the elders, man. They got some great kids out here who, you know, don't have nothing evil or wicked on their mind for the older people or, or, or the older generation. I got a lot of kids out here who respect the elders. I got a lot of kids out here who doing the right thing, who positive, yeah, and, and who's uh who making all the right moves. They got they got the great people out here, young younger generation, and they got older people that are on the right road. They got a lot of older people that's not on the right road. They got a lot of middle aged people that's on the wrong road or, 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 or the right road. You know, you it all a, depends on the person. You got a lot of older people that's still children today. Oh yeah, still mm -hmm. today. Never grown up. Yeah, never grown up. And that's a hard pill to swallow, man. And you know, it it comes a time in everybody's life. I don't care how old you are. I don't think, I don't think nobody's stuck forever. I think God has His arm open for anybody to change if they choose to. No matter what position you're in, no matter what race you are, what sex you are, God has the ability to change you. And, uh, and guess what? The blinking of an eye. One of the first things, uh, one of the first things I've learned in the Bible is Hebrews 11 chapter. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Now, let's look at the last part, the evidence of things not seen. See, we all have a desire to have something better in life, okay? But how to attain that? And it starts with felt. Keep your faith. Never give up. Wow. That's heavy, that man. Hey, man, I'm, I'm having such a great time, man. I'm just You're you know, hearing everybody's story. And just learning everything that goes on. You know? So, we just gotta keep on keeping on everybody. And we gotta just know it's better to do the right thing than the wrong thing. And watch this. You ain't nobody asking you to be perfect. Nobody asking you to be somebody you feel like you're not. Nobody asking you to, uh, like you're gonna change uh, overnight. No, we're not saying that. We're saying this. Just make better decisions. You know, treat yourself better. Uh, do better with your credit. Do better with your uh, your mates. Do better. Uh, you know, with uh, significant others, or your uh, your husband, or your wife, or your brother, or your sister, or your family, or your friends, or your neighbor. A lot of people don't respect their neighbors. You know, a lot of people want to be for their neighbors. A lot of people don't like their neighbors. A lot of people don't like to speak to their neighbors. You know, it's, it's, it, we could go on and on and on. Do the next right thing, man. But let's get back to some of this great music, and we thank y'all for tuning in tonight. All right, man. Let's give everybody a shout-out before we go, man. Shouts out to everybody out there. Thank y'all for coming in, man. We out of here, man. OG Table Pizza, your greatest. Go ahead and give them a shout-out, Cali Girl, before we go. What's up? What's up? Stay tuned. Wednesday, 8 to 10. Black Party Friday. We up in this piece. Let's get it, Fred. Yeah, Give yeah, them a shout-out. <laughs> See, yeah, yeah. Don't forget to pray to God. Yeah. Right. Wake, uh, up in, wake up in the morning with blessings. That's all right. Thank you, Mr. Fred. Dean the line, what you got for him? Hey, if you all want to contact me, contact me on IG at Dean Sheridan 8. And catch me on the greatest Instagram in the world, Why Our Greatness. Y'all already know this here for this is Black Party Friday presents OG Table, Pieces of Your Greatness. Every Wednesday, every Friday, every Monday, 8 to 10. Tune in. Tell a friend, tell a friend. We out this piece like Callie would say. And y'all already know what it's hitting for. We out. You already know. You already know. Y'all know how we coming. You know who this is. Yours truly. Your greatness. Black party.